I can't believe they're making us dress like this. I quite like it. I'm taking mine home. I thought you might. Oh. <laughs> well, in today's video, we've got a new product from ND, the Stoven. I thought it was the Stoven. Yeah, potato, potato. Does that work? I don't know. <laughs> well, what, what actually is it then? So you've seen this already because you've done mag pics of it. I haven't seen much about it. So it's basically an oven that you can take on the bank with you. Hence the stubborn rather than Hence stoven. the stubborn, because right. it doubles up as a stove and an oven. Now, before you unpack that, I should probably make you aware, the reason we're on the bank with two of them is because we've got a roast dinner to cook. <laughs> right, is that what's in this bag then? <laughs> That's what's in this bag. Okay. So let's get the ingredients out and have a, have a little look, what, see what, what we've got. What have we got then? There's three, three little bags of veg. So you've got some fine beans, some broccoli and some more broccoli. You've got to have your greens, haven't you? Yorkshire puddings. <laughs> okay. Um, sage and onion stuffing balls. Can't have a roast without stuffing balls. Seasoned roast potatoes. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this is the last this time you're shopping. <laughs> a beef joint. <laughs> what else are you going to have? So these are meant to cook this on the bank. They're not meant to, they're going to. They're going to. They're going to. If I get food poisoning, <laughs> I won't be happy. I will find it quite funny. You won't on the drive home. <laughs> no, that's true. Right, should we get going with this? Let's get on with it. Okay, so all jokes aside, ND are well known for bringing out products that are a little bit different to what's already on the market. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I've got a funny feeling that this could be extremely popular with the long stay angler. Let's take a look at exactly what comes in the kit. First up, let's start with the outside of the bag. So here you've got your two gas tubes. Obviously what they enable you to do is heat both the bottom half of the, the oven and then obviously the top half, the stove, um, that's calling it a stubborn. So we'll put those to one side for a minute. Then inside the actual bag itself, which is included, you have got, first of all, a heat proof mat. So if you're a little bit impatient and you don't want to wait for it to cool down before you put it away, you can wrap it in this and that way it won't ruin the bag. So let's open that up. You've got the actual stubborn housing itself, which is extremely easy to piece together. It basically all slots together and then it's got magnetic pins which hold all the bits in place. You then get a baking tray because obviously you're going to need something to cook on. You also get a handle to remove the baking tray without burning your hands. In the front of the door, there's a thermometer, because obviously if you're cooking something, you're going to need to know what temperature that the oven section of it is actually running at, so that you can time things to know whether they're cooked all the way through. We'll put that to the test later and see whether Luke actually does get food poisoning or not. I don't <laughs> um, like being the guinea pig on that. <laughs> Um, when it comes to the actual front panel, uh, it's got a nice wooden handle on there. It's branded by ND Tackle, and obviously that doesn't get hot because it's wood, so you'll always be able to remove that nice and easily. You've also got a slotted oven rack. I'm sure you can all figure out exactly what that's for. And then moving into the bag itself, there's a couple of little handy extras. First up, a user manual. That's always extremely helpful with stuff like this. Like I said, there are a couple of different bits so initially you might want to read the instructions on how to put it together. Once you've done it once or twice, you're going to do it in no time at all. There's also a pen in there to write down your favorite recipes. Next up, you've got the gas supply. Now what this enables you to do is supply both of the tubes via one gas cylinder, as you can see behind me. Each one is individually adjustable, so you can sort of adjust the heat to, to whatever settings you need it to be, depending on whether you want to use the oven section or the stove section, which is pretty self-explanatory really. You've then got a nice little heat-proof silicone mitt that enables you to obviously take your trays in and out without getting burnt. And then last but not least, you've got an electric lighter. Now that just makes it extremely easy. No faffing around with a small lot sort of normal lighter trying to get in there to light the tubes. You can do this either through the front or through the top when you haven't got the top plate on. Nice and, nice and straightforward. That also comes with a charging cable. So that is pretty much everything that it comes with and pretty much all that you'll need to hopefully cook a roast dinner on the bank. So let's get on to that section now. Yeah, can we eat now? Soon. About an hour and a half. 
What? Okay, so just to give you a quick update on the uh, on the cooking situation, we've now got the beef joint sitting in here. It's been in here for what about twenty minutes here? About that, yeah. About, about that. twenty minutes, and it's been sitting consistently about one hundred and ninety degrees. So should have about forty minutes left on this. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, it's looking very good. It smells good as well, actually. <laughs> I'm trying to do this seriously, but I can't. Uh, moving on to this one, we've now got the roast potatoes in, and that's sitting at about two hundred degrees. And we've uh, we've turned them once already because. We realised we had it a little bit too hot and uh, they were darkening off quite quickly. So give them a little turn and tweak the temperature a bit and that's sitting much better. But we thought because we got about 40 minutes until dinner, might as well get the kettle on as well. So that's where you can use the, the second gas line and then you can use the top bit as a stove. So yeah, kettle on, quick cup of coffee. By the time we've had that, dinner should be ready. Okay, so it's been about an hour. I was gonna get the beef joint out and check if it's cooked. Now, the reason I'm laughing is just because who cooks a beef joint on the bank? I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous to even think that you can uh, you can do that now. Um, yeah, these are not claws. They're good to get the beef joint out. Let's have a quick look. See what we've got. It smells amazing. It really does smell amazing, and it looks amazing as well. Let's cut it open and just make sure it's cooked all the way through. I know Luke's a fussy eater, so I'm assuming he'll probably want it medium rare medium or, or rare something ridiculous. Perfect, thank yeah. You. yeah, let's have a quick look. That's mental. Is that looking good? It's like so good, like actually so good. Just crank up. That looks amazing. That looks really good. Yeah, that's crazy. All right. Should we get the veg on now then? Yeah, because like if we leave that to rest for a minute, mm -hmm. good to go. That's a very good, very good beef joint. some gravy oh yes <laughs> look at those bits of beef what did you cut that out with an axe well if only nd done a cutlery set <laughs> oh i think they might you know oh a nice little plug there <laughs> yeah all right that's gravy on there perfect thank you careful it's everywhere there is a spoon if you want a spoon oh that's thick gravy that's very thick and you've got cheaper here <laughs> all right good good done. okay well there you go Roast dinner on the bank. Oh god. I mean, like in all seriousness, I am literally blown away by that. That's pretty, really... It is pretty impressive, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Should we? Let's just um, get it? on with eating it. I think. I Let's mean... give it a taste test. This apron's kind of annoying. Oh, I forgot my apron. I'm going to start with roast potato. That definitely wasn't on purpose. Oh god, this beef hat. isn't easy to cut. So if you do get one of these stubborns, make sure you get some good cutlery. We were searching through Tesco earlier, trying to find steak knives and we couldn't find any, so <laughs> we've caught. Those roast potatoes are ridiculously good. Oh, are you bored of my talking about knives? Yeah. So they're actually good. Mm, they are, yeah. <laughs> All right, I think, oh, I've got some beef. Go That's for heavy. it. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah? Mm-hmm. There you go. I'm in the wrong job. That literally puts like carberries to shame. Wow. That's really good. Let's try the potatoes. <laughs> Veg is good too. Job done. Well I'm I'm gobsmacked. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm actually too. a bit speechless about this. <laughs> Well, guys, as you can see, it's um, it can quite easily be done. You can make a roast dinner on the bank with the aid of a stoven. Um, yeah, I think 
I'm just going to get on with eating my dinner. I, I don't know say, about I'm, you. I'm done talking. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we'll catch up with you guys soon. Where's your knife gone? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Well, apologies for just sloping off last night after our dinner. Uh, I think we kind of retired with a bit of a food coma. Yeah, it was literally like uh, both fell up straight to bed. Yeah, pretty uh, much. Woke yeah. up this morning and we're like, oh, <laughs> we should yeah. probably finish the video. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, so here we are finishing the video. <laughs> yeah. So we've obviously emphasised the cooking part of this video and we should probably tell you a little bit about the actual product itself. Yeah, so I think probably the first thing to be aware of is that it's made out of a really high quality stainless steel. Mm. It's extremely easy to clean, which is always nice. Everyone's had a barbecue or a grill, and then once you're done cooking with it, tried to clean it, it's been an absolute nightmare. Yeah. So yeah, that side of it, it's really easy, which is Yeah, it's easy, easy to clean on the bank. It's also easy to use as well, because you've got the temperature gauge on the front. And I mean, like you guys know, you know how to use a gas stove. It's no, it's no more difficult than that, really. You've got a couple of little bits that you can twiddle the amount of gas going through, but you've also got air tubes as well, so you can adjust the amount of air. So obviously the more air, the bigger the flame, the hotter it's gonna be. So if you wanna tweak that down a little bit, then it is just a case of tweaking it till you find the temperature that you need to. Yeah, it's extremely simple, isn't mm. it? Uh, when it comes to weight, obviously, now it does weigh more than your conventional stove that you're, you're gonna boil your kettle on. Um, it's about five kilos with the bag and, and all the little bits and pieces that come in there. Mm -hmm. um, I probably wouldn't <coughs> want to carry that for a day session to boil a kettle on. That being said, if I was going away for a couple of nights or even a week abroad or even camping for that matter. I was going to say, it's not, it's not just for fishing. It's something that you can take camping if you've got a camper van and you just, you want almost like barbecue sort of style food, but you don't want the hassle of a barbecue. You don't need to worry about any coals or anything like that. It's, yeah. it's just much easier, isn't it? it? Is, it's it's is an easy, easy product to use and it cooks really good is. food. Yeah. I mean, if we can cook a roast on the bank, I'd say you can pretty much cook anything anywhere. Yeah. So yeah. I, I, can't, I can't say much more than that about it. It's, it does what it needs to do. And yeah, there's not many ovens that you can take fishing with you. No. And obviously because you can take it fishing, it does pack down nice and small mm. and it's extremely easy to put together. It takes about a minute. Um, it's all basically joined together and it just sort of folds out just on itself and it's yeah it's yeah. really easy isn't it so i think probably the only other thing really to mention is that it's available via amazon normally yeah. on prime so you can get it next day delivery if you're in a absolute rush to get hold of one uh, money wise they're about <coughs> 179 i think i saw it at mm -hmm. so um yeah it's a fair amount of money but it's a fair amount of kit so, yeah exactly yeah like i say there's not really anything else on the market like it no. so there's yeah i mean it's it's good value for what it is if you yeah. want to eat well on the bank then yeah you need one yeah <laughs> simple yeah, stubborn yeah. yeah stubborn or stoven i think we went with stubborn because it's like an oven <laughs> with a stove on top yeah okay you say so. but if you want to find any more specs head over to the new direction website there's all the ins and outs all the um measurements and things like that if you want like actual tech specs but for now Thanks for watching this video and uh, hopefully you've been inspired to cook on the bank, especially yeah. with the, the long winter nights ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'm dreading it. I'm dreading it. Yeah, but at least we get to have good food now. True story. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, we'll see you guys in the next one. See you in the next one.